Right then guys, if you have asked how do you band up the Gamekeeper Pocket Potion Mega Grip Catapult, well, I'm going to show you now exactly how to do it step by step. It isn't just this catapult, this is how you band up any TTF catapult. Uh, everybody's got different opinions, I've been doing it this way for the best part of four years. Uh, it's the method I've used myself, I've dropped hundreds and hundreds of game animals with it. I've won over 50 competitive pieces of silverware which you can see dotted all around the place. Uh, there is a lot of them. So over 50 trophies in here, all done with it. So it's tried and tested and proven, probably proven better than any other method on the market. But this is my way of doing TTF band sets and uh, you know attaching them, how you band them up and everything. Right, you can either start with, you can buy a band set in. If you buy a TTF band set off me, it will come ready made like that. We're gonna start straight from the beginning and we're going to band it up. Like I say, my bands have gone and I've said when it went, I'll show you how to do it. Exactly how I do it. So here we go. We're going to start from scratch by making your own bands. If you buy bands in like I've just showed you over there, then skip the first stage until the band sets are made. So I'm ready to cut my ferro band. I've got a mark there at 22mm and a mark there at 35mm because I like extremely tapered, widish bands in this cold weather. The overall length for this is only 16cm because my active draw length from the fork tip to the pouch is only 14cm and if I cut them really long at first then tapered it I'd lose a lot of the taper so I'm getting the exact taper from 35 to 22 exactly where I need it. Uh, secondly, this is double cutting means there's no room for human error. This is how I do all my bands, so you're guaranteed to get the exact thing that you pay for, perfection. So now, go across there, see how clean that was cut? Cuts it that clean, sticks them together. So you have to peel that off now. Because there was, see look, because there was double cut, these bands now are absolutely perfectly even. There's no way that could not be even, because they've been cut the same time, it's impossible. Uh, this is my own personal pouch. Use these for years. This thing is so thin and flimsy. Look at that. Screw it up. But this is what I use because I'm all about performance. Not what I sell with my catapults because I sell very heavy bands and stuff. I use a thicker leather which I commercially ship with just in case these might go because they might go these thin ones I use. But they're so light you get absolute perfection and so small. With a tapered band set like that and a light pouch like this at max draw. You're looking at 250 FPS all day long in the cold, and as the majority of my shooting is on tin, that's what I need. So, you got your pouch, you've cut your bands. Here we go, what you're going to need is your two binding strips, your two pieces of flat band, your pouch, some nice sharp scissors, and a little bit of string. And to make it a TTF one, you roll the end that you put for the pouch, uh, this is the key in this little bit. Might be a bit awkward here because I've got the camera in the way where I would be. This is the side of the pouch that you hold. Making a TTF set, you go through the side that you hold first. Make sure your fold is perfect. See, it's all about the fold. And clamp it in. If you haven't got one of these, you can use any types of jig. There's loads of little different jigs around on the market. Uh, and you can get somebody to hold it. There's all sorts you can do really. So. Same again, we're going to fold and do this. I'm going to get through it as quick as I can, but I don't want to rush it. I want to explain it as well. So there you go. Be going through. Got your folds. See the two perfect folds. Pull it in. I could stretch that a lot more, but I'm not stretching it too much. If you overstretch them, it just cuts in more when you wrap and tuck because they're more stretched and it results in lesser band life. Uh, tested and proven over the years. Right then, with your bits of string, put it on, start wrapping. And I'll do three wraps. One, I'll, so again, I could stretch that string a lot more. You don't want to strain it, you just want to let it loose. Two, three, and three is plenty. This is where a lot of people mess their band sets up. So you do three normal, then one, two over the string. If you do any more than five, you end up putting well too much more weight around there, slowing the shot down. Pull the string, click it in, and nip it off. That band set he's almost done one more side and again here exactly the same place the same distance apart I have to have everything symmetrical and perfect not just on my own band sets but everybody else's one two three put the string in place and then one two pull it through nip it off 
boom, jobs are good and under your vices, under your vices. Now what you want to do here is cut this off as close to the knot as you can get it. Any excess waste is no good. So there you go, it's off right by it, look. Same again with this one. As close as you possibly can. It won't come undone if you've done it properly, so you ain't got to worry about that. Right by the knot. And what this gives you now, I'll show you this, is the two tiniest little knots each side of the pouch. No excess. Now that is as good a band set as you'll get. Perfectly cut, perfectly binded, and ready to go on. So now we'll show you how to put it on the catapult. Obviously, if you brought your band set already and it's come in a TTF one from me, it will come like this. Um, so you'll have to follow the video from now if you just want to fit the band. Now we're ready to band it up. got my catapult, I've got my band set, marked it exactly where I want it to sit on the fork tips. I've already measured my draw length. I've got my two strips, I've got my little bit of string, and I've got my sharp scissors. Now, simple as this, you take the catapult facing you, the way you'd have it facing away from you if you were shooting, i.e. that way, put it down that way so you'd be shooting through this way. Take it with your mark on, as you'll see on the inside of this one, that's where the tie goes in, but I've cut them off that small, you can hardly see them, so I like less weight, the tie goes in. So now what we do here, is we put that right on the edge of the fork, see the fold? It's in exactly the same place. And all we do then, is just did a wrap and tuck method, just like this. And these 35mm wide bands. One of the advantages of the Gamekeeper PPSG is the wide bands, what you can put on it. And after I've done a couple of tucks, I always just check, it's all central, as you can see, perfect placement. And you just did a wrap and tuck. A couple of times it's plenty, you ain't got to kill yourself with it. It's a bit awkward doing this because I'm a little bit unorthodox of where I'm holding it from for the camera. And put it down over the string once. I'll hold it to the camera now, this is a bit tricky because the way I'm holding it. Over the string twice. Back round. Pull it through the string. Pull it through there. Like so. Cut it off. Pull it through. And that is one side done absolutely perfect. As you can see, it's bang on in the middle. Then all you do bring this round so your pouch is flat, put that side in position and yep you've guessed it, wrap and tuck again. So get it in position so the fold's there, bang on, bring it round and this is just wrap and tuck. You want to know how the wrap and tuck works. After one tuck round just make sure it's all in position what I do, just check, once you've done one wrap, you can give it a wiggle a bit here and there, just to check it's like that, look, absolutely perfect. And then, round you go. You can do it a lot quicker and easier without the camera being there and having to do it on my lap, resting on my knees, this is just holding my hands out straight. But, I've done it thousands of times. I tend to, but once round the string, twice round the string, and there. Back through the string, click, cut off the excess, pull through, cut that excess off so don't need to that much. And this is banded as good as anything. Perfect length because they're measured. You can see when I pull back, don't get no better than that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you band a gamekeeper PPMG. You've all been asking. I've said I'll do it, and here's the video. I could have done the video a lot quicker, fast forwarded it, but I wanted to do it in real time and show you. So this is from scratch. If you've got the band set yourself, or you brought it in, you only have to follow from after the video. If you're starting from the roll of Ferroband and a raw pouch, you can do it from there. As I said, tried and tested method. Took over 50 pieces of silver at the ice level. Um, you know, dropped hundreds and hundreds of games. And it's what I use myself, and I'll never change it. It is the way to go. And, you know, that's it. And if you don't like the pen on, you know, you can just lick your finger. It comes straight off, because it's only biro. As you can see, look, it's gone already. If you don't like the pen there, but it's okay. And uh, sometimes, another little tip, what I do, pull it back, see where your dimp is. I normally do this with a permanent marker. Just put a little thing like that on. 
just a nice little sighting method to drop inside the dimp. Can you see that? When you go in the dimp, it's a nice little line. So if I wanted to shoot in the hole of the scissor, kaboom! <laughs> Cheers, uh, ladies and gents. That's how you do it. That's my way. There's a couple of different ways, but this is simple. It's effective, and boy, does it do the job. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to give us a like, a comment, and a subscribe. Uh, if there's any other videos you want doing, let me know, because I'm the man to do them.